Yes. It's now okay. Eh? Good evening. Good, Good evening, Malimu. Good evening, Malimu. So let's start. Um, this is a class on demonstrating understanding of tractor and power units. So in our previous um, class, we discussed about the sources of power. What were the sources of power, Ronald? Yeah, one of the sources of uh, power in the farm is uh, animal. We also have uh, engines. Okay. Yeah, we also have uh, human power. Okay, thank you so much. So today we are going to discuss about um, a tractor. A tractor has an engine and it's also a source of power. So in a tractor, we have several systems. So our lesson objectives for today is, um, these are the lesson objectives or the outcomes. We'll identify the various structure engine systems. We'll also identify the components of the tractor cooling system. And also we'll discuss the operation of the tractor cooling system. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. We are on slide number. number we number are on slide two. number that two. That is slide number two. Number two, okay. Two of ten. Two, okay. So uh -huh. we'll move to the next slide, the third one. Yes, hope you can see the third slide. So um, before we move to the 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 the, the third slide, eh? Isabella, give us the various um, systems in a tractor engine. Isabella, Isabella, Collins. Yes, Isabella. Yeah. Give us some of yes. the systems. Yes. 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 yes sir. One of you to give me some of the tractor I'm you. engine systems. Yes. List them, eh? Lubrication system. Okay. Yes. Isabella? We have the cooling cooling system. Okay. The other one? Mm, braking system. Okay. Which other one? Lubrication, lubrication okay, thank system. Thank you so much. Um, Collins. Collins. You also have the wiring yes, system. Collins. Any other? Yes, my I can get you. Yes, any other system? Hello. Yes, I can get you. Any other system? I was saying the wiring system. Yes. So uh, thank you so much. We are going to move to the next. Um, uh, so let's move to the next slide, number three. Uh, I want Isabella to, to read for us what the introduction, eh? Isabella. Isabella. Yes, yes. 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 Can you take us through the introduction? Okay. Introduction. Yes. Engine cooling system. Uh -huh. It is designed to regulate the operation temperature and prevent the engine from overheating. Keep yes. the engine at the best heat level for each operation. Classified on the basis of the coolant used as follows, air cooling, water cooling, and, combi 
and combined water air cooling. So thank you so much. Isabella has uh, taken us through uh, the introduction. Uh, we have an engine cooling system is designed to regulate the operation or the operating temperature of the engine and hence prevent the engine from overheating. So it keeps the engine at the best heat level for it to operate uh, optimally. Um, the cooling system of an engine can be classified according to the coolant or the one, the, the cooling agent as air cooling engine, water cooling engine, or a, com or a combination of the two, water and air cooling. So uh, we'll move to the next slide. And we'll have Ronald uh, taking us through uh, the purpose, the purposes of cooling. Ronald, can you hear me? Ronald? Collins, you can assist Ronald. Eh? Ella, sir, your voice is breaking. <coughs> eh, Ronald, to take us through um, purposes of cooling an engine. Hello, Ronald? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Yes, we can get you, although your voice is breaking. Yes. Collins. Collins. Collins? Yes. Take us through the purposes of cooling an engine. Okay, let me hope you are getting me clearly. Yes, I can so get you So the clearly. purpose of cooling engines. Yes. 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 Yes, Malimo. The first uh, purpose is to maintain optimum temperature of engine for sufficient operation under all conditions. Yes. The next. The second one is to dissipate surplus heat to protect engine components such as cylinder, cylinder head, piston, piston rings, and valves. Yes. The third one is to maintain lubricating property of the oil inside the engine. Yes, thank you so much. Um, Collins has taken us through the purposes of cooling an engine. One of them is to maintain the optimum temperature of, of, of an engine for its operation. The other one is to protect engine components such as the cylinder, head, piston, rings, and valves. The other one is to maintain the lubricating property of an oil. If the engine overheats, the oil, the lubricating oil will get uh, damaged, so it will not be able to carry on its purpose. So we'll move to the next uh, thing, and it's to identify the components uh, of an engine cooling system. And uh, uh, can you be able to see the the diagram. Can you do yes, yes, the diagram? Yes, 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 it is visible. I can see the a thermostat. I can see an impeller. Yes. I can see a water jacket. Yes. Bottom tank. Yes. A valve. Yes. Also the airflow and a fan and a fan a fan. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are the components of an engine cooling system. So we will move to the next um, slide and we are going to look at the functions of each of the part or the component of an engine cooling system. So let's have uh, um, Ronald eh? take us through yes. the functions of each component. Yes, Ronald. So, yes, Malimu, thank you for uh, that, uh, for this opportunity and uh, components of the cooling system. Number one, we, ha we have a fan, yes. and a fan is meant to provide strong air current through the re radiator to improve heat dissipation from the coolant. Yes. Two, we have a water, cha a water jacket. Uh, they circulate water freely around the engine cylinder. 
Then we have the connecting hoses or pipes which connect the engine and the radiator. We also yes. have a thermostat which controls the yes. flow of coolant between the engine and the radiator to maintain operating temperatures. And then yes. of course we have the radiator cap which opens at certain high pressure to release excess pressure. Yes. And finally we have the radiator which transfers heat from the coolant to the atmosphere and also provide a reservoir for the coolant. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Ronald. We are going to move to the next slide. And um, you'll have a look at the diagram. Isabella, what is that diagram? Can you identify the component of the cooling system, that component? OK, this is a radiator, okay. water-cooled radiator. Yes, thank you so we much. Have, so, we have yes. Yes, so you can this... see the header tank. Okay. Water tubes. Okay. Thin metal plates. Okay. Bottom tank and the inlet from the cylinder block. Okay. So thank you so much. Um we'll move to the last slide. Uh -huh. Collins. Collins, can you get me? Can you hear me? Collins. Collins? Yes, sir. So, can you take us through the maintenance? Yes, of... I can get you. Yes, take us through the maintenance of a cooling system. Okay, maintenance of a cooling system. Yes. Okay, these are the processes. First of all, remove trash from the radiator fin fins. Yes. Then the second one is to check coolant level and top up when necessary. Yes. Then replace leaking pipes, hoses. Then yes. you check fan belt tension and correct it. Yes, thank you. So we've discussed about the cooling system. Various. Uh, okay, that is uh, all. Yes, thank you. So, so we've discussed about the cooling system. Hello. Uh, that is the end. Eh? Hello. Hello. Yes, Malimu. So I want Isabella. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, Malimu, we can Hello. get you. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, take us through what you've discussed in this 10 minute session. Okay, we've been taken through the cooling system where yes. we were shown the radiator, yes. the components of the radiator where we had the cap, yes, the tubes, yes, and the piping system, yes. Then we we have been also taken through the procedure of making sure the radiator is clean, yes. like removing the trash and so on. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your participation. We meet in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.